up call we're gonna be doing back we've got something a little, bit, a little bit different for you we have got the third side of happiest compilation side of happiest compilation three by explosive entertainment now i do this every every now and then and so here's the next one i'm back for the weekend so we got i got a reaction video for you so let's go ahead and do it i'm, I'm not gonna do a lot of chit chat because this is 20 minutes long and you know so we're gonna do it right now and see see what, which ones were in this one i'm some, some a bunch of new ones and maybe ones that i've seen before in the past, the individual ones I've seen in the past, we'll find out. But let's just react to this in three, two, one, play. Volume check first. We cannot forget that. We gotta have it turned up at a good volume. And there we go. All right. Seagull. 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 Okay. Giving him bread? So it's giving him bread. Ooh. Making him a sandwich of meat? Okay. Some lettuce? Okay. And tomatoes? Okay. And some mustard? He's making him a sandwich? Okay. This is, wow, that's like reverse seagull, what they do. Wow. Alright. That was nice. What the fuck? Well, that was weird. So I, I reversed the old man and just did that. Wow. Wow. Tell me, tell my wife. We need a medic. I'm eat. No, 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 no. Come on. Like those war Come movies. on. You can't tie on me. Don't you tie on me now. I guess we won't like get for, to go. <laughs> jump. On I mean, that fishing trip. After all. Oh, that sucks. Don't you say that. I love fishing. I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm lung shot. Tell my wife I'm not going to make it. Okay. <laughs> and you cough? I'm lung shot. Okay. No, Sarge. You're going to pull through. You're going to make it. And you're going to walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here. I'll be you you're going to tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. It's not far. Wait, she she just, did she shoot him? She shot constantly. him. <laughs> Ever since she what? shot me in the lungs. Obviously. Are you sure? All Must have right. been a pretty heated debate or whatever. Um, wow, so she shot I'm him. I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but your husband is lung shot. She knows. He's not she going didn't. to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times. It's not a joke. Oh, Ryan's death is okay. not a joke. He uh, can't just, like, be done dying. And Sarge, if, he, if he's done dying, Sarge, he's in heaven. Or, Sarge, no, stay know. with me. So your wife said that when you're done um, dying... He's dying now. You should clean the garage. Well, you tell her! <laughs> okay, okay, you're not dying. I would love to. He's not dying. If she hadn't shot me in the lungs. Bro, you're not dying. Um... Yes, sir. I'll be right back. He has to go back. Uh, all right. He said well, that... you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again. <sighs> all right. What kind of wife are you? You wait right here. How many times have you shot him in the all past? All right, Sarge. Now, she he, said he that... He heard you. <laughs> yeah, she... I love his face. He's like, really? <laughs> We're doing this again? <laughs> Maybe he is dying now. She's a bitch! Yeah, okay. she shot you. He says... Cough, cough, gurgle. Cough, well, cough. you can tell him that if he doesn't get his yeah, bloody her. ass yeah. up, the Didn't think that was going to happen. This is all your fault. Hey, you just cleaned the garage like I didn't you, think that you was going to happen. Are you kidding oh, you me? me? Right no, I do not believe you're going to do that. There's a right hole in my finger, isn't it? This is just oh, insane. Well, there's certainly your blood everywhere. Could you imagine that? That was, <laughs> that was obviously a, like a Nerf gun or something. Because he'd be dead if that was actually a... Uh, jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee wow. on. Hope it's still good. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, oh, so. man, I forgot to start the dishwasher. Guess yeah. I don't have any clean mugs. It's on your own, sucks. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. Of course, of course. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. So first, we, we had a, a bad wife, and then we had a bad husband in that one. Or a fiance, whatever. The beard. That is a cool beard, though. 
It's, he's just chilling. <laughs> Hot one today, huh? <laughs> I wish it's the winter time. <sighs> That's an intense right beard you've got going on there. It is. Hey, this might sound he's a not little even talking. weird, but can I touch it? I, I feel oddly compelled to touch your beard. What? He has no eyes. He, oh, he just, he, he's aware because he nods. Wow. That's so weird. Wait, what the? Oh, what is this? What is, what, what's uh, that? Okay. And now he gets a beard? He has a beard now. Yeah, now he has a beard. Oh, no. Oh. And now he turns into... He, no, and then he just waves. And then he, he has gray eyes now. Now he's a beard zombie right now. Whoa! Guess. Nice beard! And he has the same reaction that the other guy did. might sound weird, And then it's a, but... it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chain reaction, obviously. Yeah. Wow. And all because of that one guy. He had a nice beard and then boom. Yeah, I, I probably won't do a beard that long. The wardrobe. My boy, my like people that. are in great danger though. and are in need of your help. Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Yes, I am. I don't then come, follow me. There isn't much time. Don't trust that lion. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you. Don't trust that lion. I should have known. <laughs> That's, uh, that's a, he's a pedophile. <laughs> what the? Yeah, eat that pedophile. Ooh. So he was the line the whole time? Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? That was... <laughs> oh, I wish the wardrobe took a turn there. <laughs> when life drops a bomb, buy an F-bomb. Oh, she's kind of pretty. Link in the description. Okay, I don't want an F-bomb, though. Public speaking. Public, public restroom, sorry. <laughs> I'll do that one in the restroom. Or whistle. I can't whistle. Oh, I hate that. That's happened before. At home and in public. Yep, go and grab more. Yeah, that was his toilet paper. So it's a fight. So it's a fight now. Yeah, you could, you could, you could just, he could just asked. Now uh, you're, you're doing it in public. Uh, that, that's a woman question, isn't it? Yeah, it's the woman's restroom. You see all the, the, mm -hmm. on the, the head on, on the wall? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's, uh, it's a trap. Mm -hmm. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah, there's a woman in there! You really just took... <laughs> he puts it... Yeah, that was for toilet paper. And then she puts it- oh god. That was weird. You should ask for permission next time. So I think for the guys. Ten there. Oh hi! You didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. Oh, I've got mine on full of working. straps. Try and keep up! Try and keep up? Okay, well, we're following you, so... Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your one it's snug burn, commute oh. to a spiraling How big disaster is catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your trade table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cold, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, yeah, and it's a bugger out of the way. Still. Now, the first thing you got to do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. Yep. That's a good idea. Good point. Yep. It was right for you all the time. 
After a while, all the walking will leave you bleed naked. You need to find a source of food because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy means movement. Movement means survival. Luckily, yep. there are bounties of food in the wilderness. You just gotta know where to look. <gasps> bacon! We must be underneath a bacon tree! A bacon tree? What? Now, some of these aren't quite that ready. Exist, you need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. How would... You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast yeah, right there. Really Time to this. keep moving. Try and keep that up. doesn't exist. A bacon tree? Now nice we though. need to find some refreshments to cool. wash it down. Ah, now what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Always, what? always, always. What kind of forest is that? Date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. They just, put, they just put milk in the dam. Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. What kind of... You're not in the woods, you're in fucking food land. Raisins. I love raisins, I'm not in muffins, so... Yeah, chocolate chip's better. Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. You should put a map away. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. Now the fruit fish turns salt water fruit into delicious, like pineapple. drinkable fish. punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. Just drink a fish. Now you're probably thinking, Dad, there's no such thing as a fruit fish. Because there's not. Well, you're right. It's actually a crustacean. Oh, so you're poison now, huh? What is this? You're sucking on candy? You the sandwich right there? You're getting fat now, too. Really? You're gonna die, bro. Oh, you just ate a porcupine quill. What yeah. the hell? The, the trick to uh, survive it on a, on a mountain is don't eat a lot of food, I'll still. It's a. You, you can't find you can breath now. at this elevation. Don't I'm fall gonna, on that thing. I'm just gonna. Oh, he's gonna take a nap. He's, he's gonna fall right through that thing. I know it's gonna happen. He's gonna fall right through it. Oh. Yeah. Remember a Ted Bear? <laughs> the chocolate. Yeah. The lifesaver? So he, he was on food, he was in the food woods or whatever. The white cupcakes, whatever. Is that vanilla or something? It's vanilla. Or water or whatever. Because he ain't eating your friends. What the hell? That did wow. <laughs> I'll tell the answer. Oh wow. That's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those reality shows, they kind of selfish with what they do sometimes. Carousel? Why? You got a pole in your stomach! Oh god! Oh god! What the hell? You've got one too! Oh, oh god! Yeah! yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, that's what happens. <laughs> in, a, in a carousel. Poor little guy. Oh, that was interesting. been sick for so long. <laughs> These are very interesting. I feel so to say the least. for him. Little buddy is in so much pain. I'm Put afraid the only option we have left is, uh, you know, the mouse. Mm hmm. Miss Livingston, yes. this is an adult human being inside of an animal. Costume. Oh, she was talking about him. Can't you see that he's in pain? He's he, he doesn't look. He doesn't look and right. And it's my decision. And my decision is I want to end his suffering. I see. And uh, what is he suffering from exactly? Well, uh, look at him. He's in a dog cage. I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Yeah. Livingston. This, this is your son, toy, Kurt. Toy a 24-year-old adult human <laughs> male. And I can't euthanize a 24-year-old adult human Clearly, male. Yeah. Actually, it's Fire Dash. Right. I'm a pyrofox. 
Oh my god, this reminds me of. Uh, no, you you don't understand. The, never mind the fucking problems sick. of the world. I'm, I'm not even gonna say nothing about that. But it reminds me highly He's of them. Been sick. He's been sick a long time. Yeah. Miss Livingston. He looks it. Call me Rachel. Miss Livingston, this has been. Yeah, he's like, no. Used to be a complete waste that. of my time and resources. On top of the fact that this is completely unethical, it disregards Kurt's basic human rights. Yeah, well, Fire Dash. We know. Is Fire Dash. You just don't want to live know, with a man. son who, as an adult, wants to live his life as a magical human dog. What would you? Oh, the fox. Uh, I'm a pyro. Fox. Not to mention the What's responsibilities you have as a mother. His mother. Come on, please. No. No. Isn't that somewhere I could leave him or something? Come on, Kurt. Are you gonna let her treat you like this, or are you gonna stand up straight like a man he and won't. say, "Yeah, I'm his here, name is Kurt. I'm a magical dog boy, Not fire dash. and I don't want to die, Mom." I don't appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender human. Oh mom. my God! I'm a trigender pyro fox. A trigender? Get out! Please. Yeah, I'm just, I, I can't deal get with out. them. Just let, yeah. Get out! Come on! Get out! Get out of my office! Oh, fine. Yes. He's like, there's my toy. <laughs> yeah, how do you deal with that? Like, how would you? Quiet, puppet. Puppet. Soon you'll finally be free. Yeah, I couldn't deal with that. I'd be like, what the fuck do I do? She knows. She knows what to do. I think. Oh, throw him off. Yeah, throw him off a bridge. Okay. I mean, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do, I guess. Dentist. Dr. Murphy is ready okay, to then. see you, Joel. Right this way. All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. Hello there, Joel! Haven't seen you for a while! Oh, you weren't afraid to come back? Now, were you? Nah, JK, JK. We JK, like JK. to have fun here. All right, Joel! Let's see what's going on with those choppers in there! Open up! <laughs> I won't bite, and I hope you don't either. <laughs> JK, JK, LOL. Say ah! You text a lot, don't you? Okay, that's too much. Oh wow! You're a little spitty, aren't you? That's a lot of spit. Are you nervous? Yeah, this will help. All right, I'll be right he's back. Just, he's just, he's just don't go quick, anywhere. He? Okay. He's a good, okay. Does his job real fast, just like that. Yeah, I, I do that too. But I, I get the spit thing. Like, right? no, real doctor. Wow. I don't know, dentist. I put. So that's the dentist. It's tweet. What does the clock have to do with it? You know, you, yeah, you better be suspicious. Okay. Uh, oh, that's. I mean, it's under the sink. What's under there? You're fucking kidding me. What? Oh, fuck, that was nasty. So he was under, under there for how long? Like that. that was nasty. Yeah. Mother's Day cake. Happy Mother's Day, Bobby. You are not a mother. Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Mom. I mean, they're not. But, okay, you don't have to do that, though. But. Well, that was a little disrespectful. Wow. Oh. She's too smart for me. Oh, rap poison, so he wanted it. Okay. <laughs> Tried to kill her through that, huh? Yeah, well, you failed. <laughs> Man's best friend. Oh, I remember this. Oh, God. Yep, I remember this one. I saw this one uh, earlier, a few months ago, I think. I, I, I was pissed off by it. Who's a good boy? You are. Who's a star? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're yeah. such a good boy. I feel bad for that guy. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I mean, you want anything from there, the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? There's bestiality in this. What the fuck, man? Don't no, act like I don't, don't know what's going don't on. Don't kill the dog. Kill your wife. Off my Understood? 
Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean- So he's mad because the dog took a drink of Kool-Aid, not because the wife is literally loving him more than him more than- or loving the dog more than him? Like, really? You, I, I mean, he senses that too, but it's like two problems with the dog. But still, don't- don't- don't do that to the dog, you know? Like this! What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Fight your wife. Kill Gosh, her. She belongs to the street. Room, you two. She belongs to the street. I'm glad so that she... you two are getting along so well. Yeah, sure. After all, he's my beastie big man. Yes, you are. No, that's too far. <laughs> way she goes. So it's cute. Way she goes. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I. Do you want to take this outside? <laughs> I said. I would. Let's take this outside. I would. I would. Just punch the woman in the face. That's all you had to do. And she's like, I don't care. I love the dog more. <laughs> and then the dog had to win. I don't know why. And the blood on the hands. And then what? And then look at this. Yeah, that's it. I remember the, when I first reacted, reacted to that a while ago, I got, I got pissed off. I was like, why? Why? The... He sh I mean, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have killed the dog, though. He should have just, like, got his wife out of there and just been like, you know, just, you know, man's, man's best, well, men and women can have dogs, but, I mean, he clearly, you know, if it was just him and the dog, it would have been, you know, they would have a, a loving relationship, but not, that not a close textual one. This, that was straight up bestiality right there. I just, so many problems with that one. But, you know what, this was, these are all very interesting, you know, they're very, they, I like the, um, Tell me, tell, me, tell, me, tell my wife one, the second one, that, that was, and Ted Bear, those were the most interesting ones, but they were all pretty interesting. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Boop!